Thank you. Thank you. There are over seven billion, thanks. <laughs> there are over seven billion people in the world, and we have the audacity to think we matter. That's a line from a song I heard when I was 15. I remember thinking, oh yeah, that'd be a great opening to a speech. Although now I realize it's just a little bit depressing. But in a way, this line is kind of accurate, especially for us teenagers. We tend to act like we're the only thing that matters. In fact, teenagers may be the most opinionated demographic you will ever encounter. They're not only quick to tell you why everything's wrong, but they can be pretty loud about it too. And I was no different. See, I'd grown up trying to meet very high standards in everything I did. I didn't really do things for fun, I did them because I had to. And I had to be perfect at them. I had to be the best. When I swam, I had to get gold in competition. In karate, if I didn't reach black belt, I imagined I'd become the board that kids had to break. In my mind, there was no room for mistakes. So I lived my life, an eight-year-old kid, in fear of my impending failures, that I would never be good enough. And because of this, I also could be a complete brat. I did not do well with authority. I constantly talked back because I was always trying to prove myself. So how does a kid overcome their greatest fear when their greatest fear is being a disappointment? For me, it was coming to Clearwater Academy. I came to this school as this overachieving, bratty eight-year-old, which is not a good combination. My first week here, I got an 85% on a test. That's normal. It happens. You're a young kid. You're learning new things. Yeah, well, I started to cry. And it wasn't that I'd never gotten a bad score before, because I had, but I was new here and I really didn't want to disappoint. Fortunately, someone took me aside and explained that it's okay to get things wrong, that getting things wrong is just one step towards getting them right. And that changed everything. It took a while, but I started to adjust the way I operated. I stopped trying to reach other people's standards, and I started to create my own. It was through this life lesson that I found something invaluable here, freedom. The school was a space where I could create, learn, and yes, even fail. And trust me, I continued to have moments where I failed. But my failures were no longer losses. They were opportunities to grow. I started to realize I held weight in the world. This all brings me back to what I said earlier about teenagers. I think the reason we can be so difficult is because even though we act like we matter, we don't always feel like we do. We can get this nagging voice in the back of our minds. Is what you're about to say really important? Or more commonly, will they listen to you if you're just a kid? But it doesn't work like that at Clearwater Academy. At this school, you can actually have influence. You find a group where you can create an effect. For me, it was the performing arts. <laughs> Because what I said or thought did matter. And I had to prove that by putting it on a stage. I mean, the amount of free reign I was given is truly astonishing. It's like Clearwater Academy put me behind the wheel of a brand new car and told me to just drive. It really is a student-driven program. The create, the passion, the input, it comes from the students. It came from me. I had finally overcome my fear. And because of that, I have some people to thank. To Mr. Z, I don't know why you trusted 15-year-olds to direct a fall show, but Suzical was easily one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> thank you for giving me that freedom. To my performing arts family, I look back at everything we went through, and it just makes me more excited to think of what you guys will continue to accomplish. Tonight, the legacy gets passed once again. Take care of it. I believe in you. <laughs> to my friends, in an earlier draft of my speech, I spoke about how these weren't always the best days of my life. 
But what I realized is that here, I found the people who will be in the best days of my life. You guys. I love you all. <laughs>